you ready? Webradio.com, your internet radio destination for the new millennium. Live anytime, on any day, from anywhere. It's webradio.com. Nothing can compare to what's happening across the network. So come listen to this station live at webradio.com with music, news, sports, whatever your taste is. It's there. there. Web Radio also has some cool giveaways all the time. Be sure to check it out. Webradio.com. Webradio.com. Hey, CLAFM.com, Put Your Local Show. Uh, I have a, a recording of our guest with his take on uh, writing for film. And so this Christopher Baisa is going to be in in a few minutes. So I thought uh, maybe you might uh, be interested in how he approaches the writing. And, and, and. Oh, so did you cue the tape? Yeah, of course I, you, I cued the tape. Well, sir. Uh, what? It is just past Christmas. No, 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 here we go, here, here we go. Oh. No, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. Maybe had too many no, 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 don't, don't listen to this guy. Listen to this guy. Yeah, you had it in upside down, you had too many egg moths. Ah, right, here we go. <laughs> It what it 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 it's uh queuing up. Oh, it's gosh! Look, I get you. There it is. This, this, that's a queuing in the studio. That's me. There we go. Every scene has to have like a moment. You know, you can't just write these scenes so there's dullness, there's pockets. The characters are not not interacting in such a way where there's no tension, there's no friction. It's like like molecules when you turn on heat collision happens same thing when you're writing something it has to be continuous each character has to have moments of tension that's why i'm writing these scenes right now and everything has to transition right KCLAFM, Ocho Loco Show. Here we are, Richard, another night. I don't think Augie's coming in, but we do have Christopher Baisa coming in. Chris is a great guy. You know, he kind of reminds me of a still Steven Spielberg type of person. So there you, you really yeah. want to be dealing with him as a director and talent, actor, producer, and creator. And uh, so I respect him. He's a good man to be dealing with. All right, you know what? Uh, keep your keep your mic level, my friend. What is that? Him? Oh, you know, he's walking in the door as we speak. Oh, sir. as we speak, not in the door yet. I will not applaud until he comes to the door. There he is. <laughs> hey, All right. Hey, Chris, man. All right, just good, good to see started, you. dude. We'll be back with more Christopher Baisa. He's in the studio.
heard you got a new car, Howie. Just a car, Terry? It's a classic. So are you a tennis ball on a string guy or more of a cork and fishing line guy? You mean do I have something dangling from the ceiling of my garage so I don't run into the wall? Exactly. I'm a little more technologically advanced than that, Terry. Oh. The ultrasonic parking alert from Radio Shack with signal lights that tell you when to stop. Only $39.99. One of many cool things you don't even know you need. Like the digital tire gauge, just $11.99. Radio Shack. Hi, down here, it's your mouth. Listen up, let's get some things straight, okay? A, I'm not a bottle opener, all right? B, wait until the pizza cools down. I'm tired of having the roof peeled for three days. And for Pete's sake, buy me some cool mint Listerine. It's proven to kill the germs that can cause gingivitis, which, by the way, two out of three mouths get before we're 25. So get some, huh? Otherwise, you might find me, your mouth, saying a little something unexpected on your next date, like, hi, my name's Mike, and I just love biting my toenails. Capiche? See your dentist. Uses directed when brushing and flossing aren't enough. I love you. I mean, I guess I was a little sweaty and I was definitely sore. I thought I had gas. Turns out I was having a heart attack. Heart disease is the number one killer of American women. So now I take care of myself and tell the other women in my life to do the same. Make it your mission to save your life and the lives of the women you love. Find out more from the American Heart Association at GoRedForWomen.org. For all of your auto repairs, including expert collision work, L.A. Radiator on Santa Monica Boulevard is the place to go. Located just a few steps east of Vine, L.A. Radiator offers the fastest service at the lowest cost available anywhere in the area. Whether it's just a tune-up or a major repair, you'll be putting your car in the best hands possible. Don't let the name L.A. Radiator fool you. They do a lot more than just radiators. Remember, the next time your car needs any repair, try L.A. Radiator at 6216 Santa Monica Boulevard. Located just a few steps east of Vine Street in my now away for a little bit <coughs> yeah <laughs> you like my now chris yeah bro yeah i used to listen to my now in tijuana hey, tijuana <laughs> yeah tijuana as, as you were coming up in guatemala like, yeah, yeah yeah you know yeah. i used to go over there a lot when yeah. i was a kid Oh, they right in New Mexico? <clears throat> yeah, with my pop, you know. I mean, my dad, he's from Guatemala, you know. He was, yeah. He was an immigrant here. Uh-huh. And he got deported, like, twice, man, you know. He Uh-oh. got he got beat up by the police in Huntington Park, you know, pretty bad. You know, they broke his nose and everything. Yeah, they, they have a history. Uh, they have a history, the man. Police. Oh, yeah. yeah. They, yeah. they broke some bones my <laughs> friends when I was growing up. Oh, yeah. But, uh, anyway, um... First off, I want to address, Richard, the uh, Bill Cosby. Did you hear about that, Christopher? No, no. What happened? What happened? Well, he got slapped finally with sexual assault. He got charged. Yeah. And his million-dollar bail. Oh, wow. And, uh, of course, that, what, that's 100000 I think 10% you have to pay with that. That's nothing. The guy can afford it. Yeah. You know. And, uh, look, she was an assistant manager <laughs> on the Temple ba- girls, girls Temple basketball team and... Um, they even they posted her name Andrea Constand. Yeah, Constand. But I think yeah, this guy, golly, he, he's, he's. I don't understand entertainment people when they have to turn to that kind of thing. Yeah. 
you know, drugs spiking, spiking the drinks. They had the same Roofing charge. It, yeah, yeah. Uh, putting the spa, putting but in that. And he's from that era, though. He's from what the sixties, <laughs> man. You know, they used to roof, roof it all all day, man. I, I guess Disco so. Disco fifty four, uh, man. Uh, uh, what's uh, what's the name <laughs> from Chinatown? Uh, yeah, Kurt Russell. And, uh, and, and, no, uh, the, the director from Chinatown. Yeah, the, yeah. He had to flee and went over to. Oh, France. you mean uh, Polanski? Yeah, oh, Roman Polanski. Yeah, man. And that and that's a shame. But his sacred. His 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 history though with his wife, what happened with the, you know the Charles Manson thing, you know. Yeah. You know oh, yeah, that, yeah. That's, that was that's, sad. that's that's pretty crazy, yeah. you know. But him, you know, I mean that's a whole different yeah. story. Now, Chris, I, yeah. I have to tutor. No no offense, but I have to tutor everybody when they come in here. Yeah. And they have to hold the mic level with their face, like like I'm doing here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Could, I'm learning. No, turn the mic up. It's not, it's not a movie mic, man. Richard, show him. Richard just sits there. <laughs> What do we pay you in donuts for? That's why we pay you in donuts. <laughs> oh, hold up. I got it. All right. I got it. All right. Yeah, you cool, got man. it. There yeah, he is. Yeah. yeah and uh, <coughs> uh, I don't know. Was that part, when you were doing your casting, was that popular with your people? Now, you know, you realize, when, what are we talking about popular? Well, spiking the drink so you can, so you can get in bed. No, with no, you mean the casting couch rituals that go on well, in these Cos- Hollywood what, offices? What, what Cosby is alleged to have done. Well, there's, did you see the recent casting maker, casting director running around Hollywood who's up for murder charges? Well, that's even... He's been killing, he's been killing his actresses that's mm-hmm. been coming to his office for, for their representation. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, been, he's, he's been he's pretending, and you know... Um, so it sounds look, like a movie script Cosby, right there. Cosby, look, look at O.J. Simpson. He's about to get out now. Cosby's been around the block a few times. I'm matter of fact, on that, when he did the kids, he's gonna die in prison. That's what's gonna happen. In this well, day. unfortunately, Cosby's at an age where you know it really doesn't matter at this point if he, you know, his life is gonna be pretty good no matter how you look at it. He shouldn't be depressed. He doesn't have that much. How much longer? He might live another I fifty years. Know. I'm not saying, but he's up in age. But you know, he says kids say the darnest things i was over at cbs on one of his shows now he's really a nice guy to work with and i don't want to pigeonhole him he hasn't been proven guilty of anything that's right okay so you know let's not make jump to assumptions on this guy but you know one guy told me a story about cosby he was a I'm sorry, Mr. Cosby. Well, this is alleged. This is alleged. It's alleged. alleged. And you know what? I usually don't want to talk about people from, from the outside looking in when you're from the inside looking out. Get to the story, Richard. Well, the, the whole issue was a guy was doing the golf course over at 20th Century Fox uh-huh. at the golf course on Motor there, you know, on Pico. And he was doing, he was picking up, uh, anyway. So <laughs> Cosby's son, the one that got shot up here at the 405 and, and Mulholland Drive, yeah. the, uh, was there at the golf course and had a conversation with this this guy carrying the the balls and the golf, you know. Yeah, cart. Richard, come on. He was. They were of the same color. So anyway, Cosby came up to his son and said, "Please, you know, you don't need to be talking Richard to this guy. He's it. below you." Now this guy told me that story and said no, that, that, that he never liked Cosby after that. So I don't, I don't. What ass- story? That this that Cosby told him that he should, his son should not be having a conversation. His, he told his son, "You don't need to talk to the help." Oh, I see, I see. To the help. So you got to be specific, okay? You know, that's like you imagine, you imagine if your family, you right. know, back in the day, you're gonna tell somebody. You know that you got money and you're rich, and now this guy is a butler. You can't talk to him or a limousine driver. Are they below you? Well, I don't know about that. Why, why are you so critical of that? I mean, I I text Christopher and told him because I, t- I text Christopher before he came in. I told him, don't talk to the help. Don't talk to Richard. Don't right. Talk well, to well, <laughs> well, that's very true. <laughs> that's that? that's very true. You know, don't he's an outstanding director, All right. producer, writer. Scratch that. He don't need All to right. talk uh, to. Let, me. Let, let's move on. That was the headline because Richard, <laughs> no, keep the mic because uh, since I. Augie is out. We have Mark. another, the other co-host, yeah. did, was was he here when he, when yeah. Augie, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's out coaching his little basketball team. We bless him. Okay. And so, again, I'm giving you time to promote your thing at the W. Okay, well, we'll and, I'll take and, you up. And you're, you're just chewing away on something else. So go, here, now, what's going on with the W? Well, Where the are we w at there? Well, the W is February 5th, Super Bowl weekend. It's the Super Bowl um Barbecue takes are sponsored by Razor Boys Barbecue Sauce, featuring the Robertson Entertainment <laughs> Sports Talk. 
whatever. Pocho Pocho. Loco Hour. Uh, He took me off the marquee, man. He took me off. Every (laughs) Thursday at 6 p.m. and Fridays, we were speculating between 5 and 7. We're going to have Gil Fajardo on the show, our comedian third leg. We're going to have Augie second. He's going to be doing his sports. We're gonna do a lot of comedy, and uh, that's gonna that's gonna spin out of this this broadcast here, you know, from Pocho Local. We're uh, still your host. Uh, you know, you know, Christopher. You know, he and Augie are go off to do their own show. Yeah. They're gonna be doing their own oh, little okay. thing. Nice. Yeah, and so uh, okay. the huh around the, ho- <laughs> around the Hollywood area. Or? Yeah, yeah, they're gonna do their own show. <clears throat> and, and the first thing that came off that marquee when they decided to do their show yeah. was Pocho Local band. Ditch wow. this week. See, uh, this, <laughs> there you go. There you go. There goes half your audience. Listen, there goes half your listen, attendees. We're going to like the red carpet. We're going to have your logo there. We're going to have the Robertson Entertainment have have Sports logo. Talk. <laughs> well, we're going to create that for you, Pocho. Uh, and in the meantime, if if you like to know, it's just a spinoff. And, and uh, hopefully we'll get on the way by February 8th. That's what I'm hoping for, which will be hopefully a Friday after about 4 o'clock Oh, yeah, in the, the radio show? Right. Because this uh, is a first, so another week we want to be in here on a Friday doing our show. This will follow up. Now, um, is Christopher invited? Obviously. Is, is Entourage? Oh, I hope so. You know, I plan yeah. to be there. Do uh, Guatemalans, they barbecue? They, uh, they nah, they barbecue? you know, my dad, nah, nah, I, I don't know nothing of the culture, man. Uh, who know? is it that told us? Uh, uh, I don't uh, think so, though. Was it Jennifer last week? They said they don't uh, barbecue. The last person I asked about barbecue. You know, I went there last year. I didn't see any barbecue. Yeah, I don't think you know, they barbecue. No. Or was it the Salvadoreña that, that did that uh, uh, Rocio? Well, I think let, me, Rocio. let me explain. You know, you won't, you won't be able to do this in Thai town, per se, as far as the barbecue sauce. But Korea town's a real good market. And Korean little to- barbecue. Little uh, Tokyo. So I got the Korean market. And now I got the Armenian and the Turkish markets, by the way. And... Um, and what else? The Russian market. So we'll be on West Hollywood. Now the thing is, that's going to be February 5th, Super Bowl weekend, at 7 p.m. It's a VIP, no charge event, and we have the W. Now I like to also inform you that uh, there, you know, it's going to be very much a red carpet, and we want everybody to come on out, meet our directors, and um, our investors that are going to be participating. Full industry mixer, actors, producers, directors, industry managers and agents, investors, yeah. and we expect some A players and A listers. I have a strategy for that. I already explained you that, uh-huh. and I'm not going to give that out over the air. Disgraced radio announcers. But as of right now, I'm getting an important phone call regarding the W but right you, now. That's 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 Christopher. <laughs> Christopher, tell them, look, they need help on the set. Yeah, yeah, they need help on the set. Well, I, I gotta go, you guys. Where, where's the director? <laughs> hey, man, tell him, hey, give me give me time. Hey, give me you time. guys, I got five. I'm talking here. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so, uh, what else was I? Uh, we we have to. Oh, has, as long as I got you on the mic. Yeah. Has anybody seen any of the films that've been out? You know what? what? Oh my God! Seen? Yesterday, I saw the movie Joy, with Joy, uh, Jennifer okay. Lawrence, Robert De Niro. Okay. Yeah. All right. What yeah. a beautiful piece of artwork about a woman who created the mop in the United States. Created the mop. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the the first mop that you pull out, you twist so that you don't have to touch the actual mop. Okay. And uh, yeah, this takes place like in the '60s or '70s, '70s, early seven, mid '70s. It was amazing. The transitions, the music, the the, the whole story. Man, it was that was great. Look, I yeah. first saw Jennifer. Yeah. Uh, the first time I saw her on film was in Winter's Bones. Oh, okay. And um, I, I in fact I posted on facebook back then i yeah. even said on the air i said this woman this is this is going to be one of our best actresses Meryl Streep, uh, sure. uh, uh uh jennifer lawrence she's going to be one of our best actresses in years to come and there you are she oh, won yeah. the oscar she eventually won the oscar oh yeah mm-hmm. oh yeah we like to do predictions on the show yeah yeah and uh Anything else? Any other film? Like, have you seen? Are you a Star Wars fan? I, you know yeah. what? I didn't Here grow up admiring George Lucas at all. I mean, uh, you know, I, I never got into it. I saw the movies when I was a kid, but it is. I saw know. the very first one. And I was more into like Carlito's way, you know, the <laughs> realism. You know, I was a kid. You <laughs> know, he's like me, very edgy. Yeah, yeah. And, so. and the fact of the first one, I said, uh, you know, yeah. sci- sci-fi at the time, back in '77, 
it really didn't make a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, that movie did, but prior to that, they, yeah. they weren't doing so well. Mm. 2001 A Space Odyssey, Kubrick, Space you know, it was Odyssey. okay. But oh, yeah. I, I said, no, nah, I, you know, anything science fiction, <clears throat> even the Bob movies, I just can't get into. Yeah. But, uh, uh, so I never saw it uh, since then. But I mean, anything else like uh, DiCaprio, he's got the. Uh, oh, the, the Revenant? Revenant? Yeah, the Revenant. Yeah, uh, have you seen that one. Yet? That no, I want to see that probably tonight with one of my <laughs> friends, but I have not seen that. It looks really great. That's the, the, the trailer kind of. You know, draws you in there. You know that whole realism. I'm all about realism, man. Enyaritu, enyan, enyaritu. Alejandro Enaritu. Well, there's a Denya there. Oh, is there? Okay. Enyaritu. But I, I gotta pause every time I say his name. Enyaritu. Now I don't understand how these Mexicanos get these last names, man. Except Mexican, bro. French. They got the French relatives. Yeah, well, you know, French oh, invaded, man. Yeah. Uh, about <laughs> uh, what about the hateful eight? Has anybody seen that? Oh, record? I saw that one too. You haven't seen it yep. yet? Quentin Tarantino's film. And no, I'm going to play it justice because, you know, his father right now is, go- is starting his film in New Mexico prison. $65 right. million dollar budget. You, you he was on our show, Tarantino. So I got to go see Quentin's because that's his son. And, and I'm going to pay him some. Pro- I always want to contribute to the producers. That's a lot of work. And, you know, people, piracy is going on. They steal the movies. Richard, I want to know about the film. Give it back well, to Christopher. Well, April 8 is a cowboy western. You, you, I you see, see Leo and Lolly, what we have here? <laughs> Richard comes and he, 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 he swipes the mic from our guest. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. for me to get a proper answer, how was the film? The film was was written remarkably well. You know, there was, there was a constant... Uh, well, yeah, clash guy, between those yeah, guys, you know, the way he Tarantino. wrote it, it was all theatrical. You mm-hmm. know, it's kind of like a stage play almost. You know, it took place yeah, in one. Well. It took place in one location, a cabin. Oh no! <laughs> with all these guys, with all these characters, okay. and there is just brewing. You know, it's just amazing the way he wrote well, it. You know, you can see this out. as a stage. He's gonna. I heard he's gonna. Um, he's gonna make it into a stage performance. Yeah, so it well, was amazing. Well, it was good. It was really my, good. I wonder if that was his intention to begin with. But <clears> the thing about Tarantino, what, what, what. Uh, I admire is yeah. that he he tries to do a lot of old school stuff like he shot yeah. this at 70 millimeter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, the problem he had with that he complained about with Disney that uh, it was supposed to be premiered over here at the Cinerama Dome, and he got pushed out by uh, Disney and they're I trying didn't know for that. for yeah that was his big complaint oh. for Star Wars. You heard about oh, that, right, Richard? Oh yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I don't recall how long ago did this take place. Well, right before uh, the Hateful Eight was supposed to premiere, oh. but the the weekend that Star Wars uh, premiered two weeks okay. ago. Well, look, I want to see Star Wars, but I want to see Apollo Creed, uh, Stallone's movie. That is supposed to be an excellent movie, and I've been it's been highly recommended oh. that I see that. So I'm gonna see that first. I'm gonna see Star Wars in about four weeks. Well, we might as well get this get this off uh, get this out there. Uh, Christopher, uh, yeah. since anything that has to do with martial arts <coughs> or boxing or something like that, Augie and Richard, are, yeah. they're all for it. Yeah. And it's because they both hold black belts. Uh, now, wait, don't grab it yet, it's Richard. It's pretty you amazing. <laughs> it, well, you haven't seen it yet, though. No, no, what I want to say is I found out I got to get my hands and feet registered. I always thought that was a myth. I no. Have actually, uh, yes, I have a you brother. You have to. You have to. No, you don't have to, but you, it's advisable to get register in case you do happen to go the off and hurt someone the, book at you. Uh, the judge will throw the book at you unless they know you are you know you've been certified and you can so, go down to the so police department and prove it now, i didn't know i thought that was a myth that well, I, I didn't think that was true well, well this, this is the essential question here they know that now christopher yeah uh everybody else that has come in here tony tarantino and some yeah. of these other guys right, right. they're all uh fajardo they're all uh martial artists yeah, even Guys. even Gil, Gil, Gil Farr? yeah, yeah. Get out of here! Oh, Gil. <laughs> yeah. See, so well, shit, I'm a I'm a black yeah. belt too, man. See, well, <laughs> that was, that was I got question. a black belt right now. You want to say? Yeah. Un cocodrilo. What's it say? Oh, esto en México, Guatemala, o en Perú? No, but 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 so Gil, and so that was my question to you. Don't yeah. tell me, you know. Yeah. Martial arts. I mean, even our uh, our Asian ge- uh, guest, she knew martial arts. I got a story for you. I was at Who's the laughing? donut shop here about two thirty, three o'clock in the morning, and some guy was giving me a hard time. I said, oh, hold on a minute, man. And I went over to open up my trunk. Do you know he was gone? And the funny thing about it, he was. I saw him walking down the street. He left. 
And he thought, you know, he probably thought he didn't know I was getting out of my trunk. What were you getting out of your trunk? I was getting my black belt. So I got my black belt, and I was like, you giving me a hard time, man. You don't know who you're talking to here. He thought I was getting a gun. So he left. <laughs> now, this is about 3 o'clock in the morning. What's the difference? Well, I was just getting my black belt out. Yes. I was just about to say, hey, man, you're messing with the wrong dude here, man. See, see Christopher, I don't know how old you are. You're, you're you know, he's young. a dangerous guy, this guy. Oh, me? You, I'm, know, uh, yeah, yeah. you don't have to. But you look young to me. Yeah. That's why you get to be my age. I don't mess with anybody. I no. don't know. You know, you never know what they got, where right. they came from. Yeah. I just shake my head. And people <laughs> down in LBC, you know, Long Beach, Christopher's from Long Beach. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when I go out, <clears throat> uh, they say, yeah, you're a pretty quiet guy. You just sit back. Yeah, well, I don't get my ass kicked. That's <laughs> why do you think I'm so quiet? I'm my own business. <laughs> I, I want none of that. What, 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 what part of Long Beach were you uh, born my, in? I was born in, uh, I was born in Long Beach. I have yeah. family there, uh, you know. I had family, but on the north side or in the what, 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 what hospital? Um, St. Mary's. St. Mary's, yeah, downtown. Downtown, yeah, downtown. But, but so I had family there, yeah. living there, you know. Um, you know, yeah, that's a whole different story. You know, part of gangs and stuff like that. Yeah. You know? I mean, there was yeah, a, yeah. back in the nineties. There was huge, huge uh, Latino and black gangs there. Mm-hmm. That's what I remember, remember when I was a kid. You know, I used to go into that neighborhood, Alfredas. You know, shit, you know, it was, it was, you know, it was very mm-hmm. dangerous back then. And we're going to get to that uh, yeah. after the break. Uh, oh. little, but uh, no, see, we got some of that covered. <laughs> Anybody going to watch the football playoffs? No, I don't Not the you. NFL or the college? No, you know, I happened to miss the Red Zone this past Sunday. I've been so Thank busy God. promoting the W that I wasn't watching the Red Zone. Um, I've been I've been kind of taking care of all that activity. So you know. All right. Well, well you know that New England lost. <laughs> Green Bay lost. And uh, Carolina, I told you, I told Augie, Carolina. <laughs> well, who's gonna be who? Who's gonna beat the uh, uh, Carolina? <laughs> Man, these are grown men, Christopher. These yeah. guys are in the late twenties, thirties. Oh, yeah. They got family, got Christmas going on. Oh, yeah. They're not like college kids, uh, and and it's that different. that that gets into their heads while they're trying to concentrate on their game. You can't tell me, oh my wife, uh, they're not yeah. thinking about that. And Carolina blew it. I knew. Cause you know that's that's the fifteenth game. That's a lot of games in yeah, the that's NFL. A lot of games. Oh, a yeah. lot of games. A lot of those guys yeah. are worn out too. You know. Thank you. I mean, and you uh, think about and that. And he's always Cam Newton. He's always dancing around. And <laughs> you're, you're, not, you're from Long Beach. You know what yeah, happens yeah, when yeah, you yeah. do that kind of stuff? Somebody's gonna come up and kick you upside the head when you do that. It's pretty amazing. You know, my nephew. What? His name is what? Chris Robertson. Uh-oh. He played for the Texas Longhorns. He got recruited yeah. by the Green Bay Packers. He got injured. He was a safety. No, he was a, a running back. He got injured doing practice. Yeah. And at practice, that in his football career, he went over to, um, he joined the military and went to Afghanistan or Iraq. He's been there 10 years. He's a captain out of Fort Hood. And that's Chris. I just, um, Chris Robertson. Now, what a shame. And I just talked to him the holidays. He was at my brother's house over in Texas for the holidays, and, and I haven't spoken to him since my dad's funeral. Is that the barbecue sauce king? No, no. no. Now, that's Michael. Michael's oh, a big okay. guy. Horses out there. He's got a ranch, and he's always messing with his horses. He's a barbecue king. And matter of fact, he's gotten the bottles coming this week because he's doing <laughs> orders right now. So I got oh. my bottles going to him, uh, and we should get those bottles over here next week. Okay. Okay. Now, and that's gonna All be right. that's gonna be for the W and the events I'm putting together. But let me explain something. That's Chris Robertson. Now you see. You don't have time to explain all. Look that. at Will Smith. Will Smith concussion. Have you seen it? No, no, no. <coughs> but uh, Blanca saw. Remember Blanca Blanco, the the model that came in. Man, well, have, you yeah, have, but you know Chris, everyone's you talking you about you it no, because uh, of football. You know, football is a very dangerous sport, and to see it come to an end. Because really, there's a it's movement. It's not going to happen. Listen, there's a movement now it's where it may happen. not happen, but it's a rough uh, game. It's a billion it's dollar industry. And this movie with Will Smith is, is starting to put some, shed some light on it. So uh, it's bringing it to the surface. And I wouldn't be surprised if you see uh, maybe the public might get behind it like they did animal rights and said, okay, s- dig that. I, 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 Richard, one more time. Look, you got to speak into the mic like this. Right. So, you know, that's the way we, we, we talk about it. But the truth of the matter is. The truth? The truth of the matter. The truth. I'm from <laughs> Chicago, man. I thought you were from Long Beach. <laughs> the truth. truth. All right. The I truth get, of the be. matter is the fact that, that uh, it is a dangerous um, right, sport. Yeah. And they may, they, may, they may abolish it. 
They may abolish it. Hey, Augie, you can come in. You can clean that up when you come in next week. But I'll I'll have to tell you something. Yeah, Augie can handle that. Augie, look, I saw the Lakers uh, uh, get blown out on Christmas Day by the Clippers, Augie. Three-point mania. I don't know why that goes on in the uh, NBA. You see no inside play. I don't know why you watch uh, NBA basketball these days. And um, so that's all I got to say about that. And the only good thing... Uh, for football this season really is the college basketball playoffs oh, yeah. because you got four best teams so this way nobody can argue about who's number one who's ever going to be number one is going to come out of those four teams before it was hard you either pick uh, it's usually number one and number two you can't decide and there's this big argument who's really the better team well now you got four so America quit your complaining <laughs> quit your complaining Christopher Bice is here you got to yeah, get to really down to right. well, we're going to talk film yeah, <laughs> Richard, don't you reach for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to break. We're going to be back with more. Do you know Cheap Trick, the band, uh, Christopher? Um, what are they called? Cheap Trick. Cheap Trick. No, I never heard nah, of them. No, you're um, still too young. You're still too young. Cheap it, Trick. It, yeah. No, actually, I listen to a lot of old folk music, man. 40s, 50s oh. music, man. Folk? Yeah, oh, yeah. I love like bluegrass. Old. I love all that stuff, okay. man. Oh, so. boy. I don't think we have anything like that in the library. <laughs> we'll be back with more. This is Dirty Diana. I'll make your wildest dreams come true for just $3.95 a minute. Hello, this is Madam Diana's psychic hotline. Di here, rides on rainy Sunday in a second, three to one. Need extra cash? Log on to www.gotajob.com and apply for 10 jobs in 10 seconds. For employees, call 1-800-GOT-A-JOB. Ooh, I'm wearing a lace teddy. What are you wearing? My Sunday dress and an apron. Grandma? Gotajob.com. Part-time, full-time, in no time. It sits there looking like a candy bar in a nice orange wrapper, right? Reese's nut rageous. Then you take a bite and it blows your eyeballs to Pluto, kicks your ribs to the roof of your mouth, pounds your taste buds into a simpering puddle of pulp, and leaves you for dead. Want one, don't ya? Reese's nut rageous, so loaded. Chocolate and Reese's peanut butter. You don't eat it, you survive it. Every morning you shave the same area, over and over, till it becomes really irritating. But now there's Gillette Mach 3, three blades that shave progressively closer. You take one stroke, it takes three, so you don't have to shave the same area over and over. The result, far less irritation. Three blades, fewer strokes, less irritation. Mach 3, from Gillette.
Are you ready? Webradio.com, your internet radio destination for the new millennium. Live anytime, on any day, from anywhere. It's webradio.com. Nothing can compare to what's happening across the network. So come listen to this station live at webradio.com with music, news, sports, whatever your taste is. It's there. there. Web Radio also has some cool giveaways all the time. Be sure to check it out. Webradio.com. Webradio.com. Back, back with Christopher Bice at KCLAFM.com, put your logo show. No and uh, filmmaker, <coughs> writer, you missed, buddy, you missed your intro. Yeah, the, 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 the intro, uh, we played your your take on writing. Oh, uh, okay. Posted on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I get a lot of messages from uh, overseas, man, you know. Oh, really? Lot, yeah, a lot of people. That's why I kind of, I post that. I never posted a video of my writing process ever. And mm-hmm. I did this this time because, uh, you know, I just got a, quite a few messages. I wanted to put it out there. Well, you know, I, I, I studied the Meisner technique, so that okay. helps me a lot. What, 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 what is the essence? Because that was one of my questions. What is the essence of that? Because you, you spoke about that. You wrote about that, uh, about your acting <coughs> as well. Yeah, yeah. In your bio. Yeah. So what, what is the essence of the, the essence of uh, the Meisner technique? Yeah. Uh, it's pretty much, uh, you know, it's pretty much what... Uh, um, uh, an actor prepares himself. He does a backstory, right? Uh-huh. And uh, he prepares himself emotionally, you know. And uh, there's a lot of layers there, you know. Okay. But you have to go on impulse. You have to go on feeling. And also, you have to go on subtext. So what that means is whatever your, say, there's two characters on stage, uh-huh. you have to react to what your backstory is. Okay. Um, right, it's yeah. a little complicated, man. You know, no, I get that. This is a deep. Uh, you know what? You come yeah. sit. You, you come over here and sit in the chair because <coughs> this, this is your time now. Oh, this time yeah, now. We we usually switch places uh, at this time. Whatever the backstory, whatever oh. your backstory is, that's yeah. how you're going to react to the uh, the uh, the other actors on stage. Oh okay. yeah, oh yeah. Okay. That's how I did Eagles. You know, that's how I guided all the actors. You know, okay. all the bikers. Yeah. Um, uh, going over your, uh, your bio, yeah, we mentioned about, uh, living in Long Beach. Did, did you ever live in Long Beach? Or you went from Guatemala to Long Beach? No, 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 I'm from here. My mom's Mexican, you know, she's from Sinaloa, Mexico, you know. Really? My, my dad's from Guatemala, uh, you Sinaloa. Know. Oh. Yeah, her family, you know, but she was born here, you know, she's an American girl, though. Uh-huh. Yeah, so. Um, uh, so you grew up in the L.A. area? Is that where you... Yeah, I grew, grew up, up in the L.A. area, man. Mm-hmm. I was a I was a, a troublemaker, you know. I went to a lot of Uh-oh. schools, you know, East Los, you know, right there on Marengo, Soto, <laughs> all those streets, you know. All a lot places. of memories, a lot of memories, man. Um, yeah, so... Yeah. All the places my dad robbed me of. We, I was born <laughs> in East L.A. <laughs> I think and then he tried radio and acting in Hollywood, and then he split. So I never got to experience all that. And I uh, tell everybody, and it's true, that, that uh, my, the hospital I was born in is uh, burnt down. It's, it's yeah. a, Or they knocked it down, one or the yeah, other. Yeah. And and so the the gang violence that you experienced, where yeah. is it most, most problematic? Where Was it heavier <coughs> what, in East L.A. or some other... Uh, uh, everywhere, man. Well, back I back in uh, mid nineties to yeah. you know, all the way when I was in high school, you know, like two thousand one, two thousand two, all that mm-hmm. was hot, you know. I lost a lot of friends, you know. That's yeah. So uh, yeah, you know. Uh, uh, that's was, why that uh, straight heavy. straight out of Compton, you know, that movie. <clears throat> oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, I, I it depicts I, it well, I think. Oh yeah, I related. I yeah. was telling the guys and on air, I understood all the language because yeah. I. I, in my teaching years, for about eight years, I taught the probation kids oh, really? in Long Beach. Wow! Well, I, of course, I knew all the gangs yeah. and all. And when they were talking on Straight Outta Compton, it was like I started to shake. I said, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> flashbacks! Flashbacks! Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. traumatic syndrome, man." Yeah. Um, but uh, so yeah, all over and and yeah, we got to we, those of us who taught in that program, yeah. like you, uh, we got to experience. We had kids who were shot, yeah. killed. Oh yeah. I had about three. And uh, so that that uh, so from from that area, I mean, where did you guys? 
you know, moved to. I mean, where, uh, we where did bounced you around. Out, did My you family know? just were like gypsies. You know, we bounced around from city to city. You know, mm-hmm. house to house. I moved about like fifteen times when I was a kid. I mean, it was crazy. You know, yeah. Um, and I grew grew around the gang violence, man. I had a bunch of friends that were, you know. Yeah, a lot of people at that time they thought they could move out to the Inland Empire, and that's yeah. why they have their gang <clears throat> problem that's today. That's probably worse area. <laughs> they, they went out there and they found yeah. out uh, the kids were right at home. Hey, right. this gang is out here too. Right, oh, right, yeah, right. right. Right, yeah. So and that's why their athletic teams got so good out there, because <laughs> uh, all the guys from LA they moved yeah, out they that moved way. Yeah, out there. Oh yeah. Um, uh, what the, it, it said in your on your bio. Yeah. Also, you left the uh, university. What what <coughs> were you went into college for? Yeah, Cal State Long Beach. You know, studying chemistry, you? and uh, mm-hmm. you know, I I actually I wasn't a great chemistry. high school student, but I didn't even graduate high school, man. You know, I was so stuck in the arts. You know, I, I, I was an artist. There you go. You yeah. know, but. I did get my diploma, you know, I went to college yeah. and all that. I actually did really well in college, you know, mm-hmm. so I studied the sciences and all that. But evidently, I didn't want to do that, man. I but want chemistry? Uh, chemistry, yeah. Um, la well, chemica. How, how do you, well, you mean chemica, la chemica? <laughs> <or what? laughs> I mean, how, how do you go from, um, uh, you know, from arts and into chemistry? Uh, That's a high, I could never. Yeah, I just, you know, I just, I just kind of, you know, I, I declared a major, you know, I, I <laughs> thought chemistry was pretty cool, you know, and I just got really good at it, you know. I, oh, my God. That's had a good great. GPA and been, all that. You could have been a doctor or something. Uh, it? you know, I traded all that for for this art though, because this is something mm-hmm. I always wanted to do. You know, yeah. And um, you know, I'm I'm going for it. So, uh, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's 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 a big step. You know, so, not a lot of people do that. So 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 when you. <laughs> When you yeah. when you list in here that uh, <clears throat> you created Ejos, you talking about the Ejos, the film that you're doing, or is yeah, the, the, or the film. Oh, you have no idea what we're doing right now. Well, I'll explain I, it to us. I don't want to. Uh, there's some things I want to explain, I, uh, but you know the the genre, the the mm. the, the Spanish biker club film that hasn't yeah. been done, f- as far as I know, in a very yeah. long time. I don't S- think uh, ever unless they took some of the Hells Angels movies in yeah, Mexico and right. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I think I've created s- a, a, a new market for 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 the Spanish culture, you know, in terms oh, of motorcycles. Th- I got the love from a, a, a huge number of motorcycle clubs in California, mm-hmm. including uh, Houston and, and New York. Really, and not to mention Germany and all those other countries oh, out yeah. there, man. It was just insane. Yeah, the oh, Brits, yeah. Uh, Europe, they're big with the motorcycle clubs. As oh, well. bigger than here, I think. Yeah, but I think you're onto something <coughs> here, my friend. And then that I'm, I was thinking to myself, well, you know, Chris. Uh, let's see if I can recall. I can recall there was something about him. Yeah. That captivated me, and yeah. then now that you're bringing up just now, <laughs> yeah, the motorcycle thing. That's what I liked. Yeah. At, at that year. Uh, that was that's at the, the man cave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. Yeah. I had, I had uh, Harley Davidson uh, sponsor me, and they brought you know bikes oh, yeah. and all that, and uh-huh. and you know it was a beautiful but, thing. Yeah, you know? Richard missed it; he couldn't get the Uber out. <laughs> Who's trying to track down Uber? Look, Chris. <laughs> I mean, it was a yeah. great uh, 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 mixer that you had at the cave. Yeah, for red E-Horse, carpet. Yeah, uh, the red carpet, and Richard, <laughs> he. When I left, I told him it was about eleven thirty, and pretty much everybody was was leaving. Yeah, he was still trying to hail a Uber Uber cab. Oh, that's how dedicated he was. That's super cool, man. Mi- but at twelve midnight, he's trying to get a That shit was still cracking until two, man. <laughs> was it? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. We had people until like one thirty or two, you know, just Poor drinking. Guy. Um, I would have took you home, Richard. I'm just saying. Bro. Yes, you could have got a ride. You could have came. I would have took you home, up. man. You know, no oh, problem. Man. Yeah. And uh, so, so. Uh, so and essence you can't give us a log line as to what he was the film is yeah about? it's pretty much it's pretty much about a young motorcycle uh, a leader of, of, a, of, a, of a motorcycle club uh, called Ejos, obviously, and he's going through a medical problem. He's been diagnosed with intermittent personality disorder, and uh, that which which is a, a variation of of behavior problems, violent outbursts. Um, you know, hmm. it's, it's a it's yeah. a horrible disability, but his club doesn't know. So he goes through this <laughs> whole, you know, this whole roller coaster ride with this disability that's mm-hmm. that's, that's kind of like blossoming right in front of his eyes, you know. And uh, there's a rival club, you know, the white guys, oh. and these are all clowns too. I mean, you know, <laughs> this is a, they're a whole different species on their own. I, I wrote I wrote the character arcs very high because I know that it needed very high 
character interactions between them because mm -hmm. these are motorcycle clubs these are not just like characters these are guys that are like love motorcycles they they're very oh, vulgar yeah. they're very vulgar they're very outspoken they're you know just rugged mm -hmm. dudes you know so uh, it's it's, it's so yeah. good. now is that all casted now uh, all part, partly you know right now since uh, I brought the film to the AFM uh, you know I got a bunch of offers even from the president of the AFM I had a meeting with her Gina Vasquez oh and, really uh, yeah you know she gave me a you know a pretty uh, generous offer but uh, we're gonna go another way you know I, I got a deal with two distribution companies one in Finland and the other one here in, in the States so uh, we're pl we plan to sell the rights over to Latin America, Argentina, Peru, and Chile. You make more money over there. And then sell the rights over to Finland, that area, Scandinavia, Germany, and then Belgium. And then I have another distribution company here called Buffalo Age, where we're going to probably sell the rights here in the states in North America. Yeah, that was yeah. One, uh, another one. Another <clears throat> thing I wanted to ask you: Do you do you is is that your production company? I mean, are you? Cine Calibre Films is it's okay. it's it's is my company. company? Okay, you know, yeah. I didn't find that. Oh, yeah. I, I wanted to ask if you had a production company. Yeah, it's my company. Sure. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. When um, you're creating something like this, what you want to do is create, you want to register a company right away. Sure. You want to open up a business account. So when, you know, you get your budget and you start, you know, mm -hmm. you have yeah, a team and writing checks and all that. You got to think that way, you know. You have to, and I'm glad you mentioned that because that's what this show is all about, though. <laughs> to get yeah uh, people who are in this street on this show, yeah, and to show uh, the up and coming artists, you know, how to do things because yeah. you know that's the first thing uh, a lot of people will tell you uh, in school and churches. Well, you know, the Latinos, the Hispanics, they really don't know how to do business, and so yeah. this is the way we're going. You know, we're having this right, this conference right. so we can show you, and that's exactly what uh, my point is that yeah. you're doing here. You're showing yeah. them the proper way to do right. things. So, like, maybe the IRS or something uh, come in knocking on your door <laughs> and uh, run you off back yeah, across the border right, or something. Right, yeah. um, uh, and, and, of course, this, is, this was written by you. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I wrote the whole story. Yeah, yeah. Now, now oh, are yeah. you like, we had Gregory Martin in here last week. Uh, okay. Uh, he's Gregory a filmmaker. Martin. He has uh, yeah. the Bay series, his uh, internet TV show. Oh, cool, won man. Three Emmys. Oh, nice, and, like, nice. And playing that uh, some of the other... Hispanic groups have not recognized him because he's part Puerto Rican. Oh, he's Puerto Rican, aren't they all? And, and, <laughs> and, and, and yeah, pretty much. I'm trying to beat that. Though. But, but uh, <laughs> you, you know, he's like you. You're very, very energetic. Yeah. And very business wise. Right. Yeah. And I'm great, Richard. See, we had back to back Gregory Martin and Christopher Baisa, mm. uh, uh, pretty much on the same level. Yeah. But uh, he was ex expressing uh, his way of writing. Right. And. Uh, you're you're a little bit hyper, but this guy he's yeah. once he gets in the film he, yeah, he gets yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, and and I write, of course, a lot yeah. too. And uh, I don't know if if you guys are like me, where when you wrote, when you are writing, you are seeing it through your head. Oh, you, I'm you seeing the whole movie, you, you start, everything, you everything, see, everything, you, everything. You got yeah. Richard's attention with that. Yeah, That's yeah. Right. I see the you whole see thing. It. You know, I I actually yeah. shot the movie already on paper. I yeah. know, I know what sure. sh what shots yeah. I want, medium dolly, yeah. you know, crane, whatever, you know. I, I, so I feel like I already know the movie. Yeah, I already shot it and everything. I already know the characters. See, I, 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 Richard, so. see, I knew there were people yeah. like that. Yeah, like uh, people always ask me, you know, how how are you able to always just write, just write? Yeah, Come, because we see, and I show, share this with Gregory because we see it in our head. The film is already pretty much in our head, running. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it's just something that happens with with. The people who like to do film. You know, just a quick note. Quentin Tarantino wrote this screenplay called Natural Born Killers back yeah, in 95. I remember that, yeah. And he, uh, what happened was uh, Oliver Stone ended up directing that film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, Quentin didn't want to direct it because he had, he spent so much time writing, he felt like he already directed it in his mind. So <laughs> he just kind of sold it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was a big mess, though, you know, in terms of, you know, uh, Oliver Stone rewrote some of the scenes. And but who got the credit for the writing? Uh, it, Oliver Stone. It, oh. Yeah, I think. And then partly uh, Quentin because it's his script. But he rewrote a lot of stuff. But Oliver Stone added a lot of psychedelic scenes because this guy was always fried every time he shot scout it, locating. well he comes from that era He's from oh yeah era, right? oh so. yeah <laughs> you know the stories i read about that guy man uh, uh the last uh, well, I, just, crazy. I just got this movie uh yeah. one of the videos for savages 
That was the last film I think he did, Savages. Oh, yeah, I never uh, saw it. Um, uh, yeah, that's uh, 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 Benicio del Toro. Oh, I love yeah, Benicio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he was yeah. in it, and uh, he's Puerto uh, Rican, right? Yeah, oh, yeah he's Puerto yeah. Rican. Yeah, yeah, he's a good. Yeah, he's he's the only Puerto Rican I can understand when he speaks Spanish. I just love his his <laughs> authenticity of of a, of, a, of a performer. You know that that voice. You know. Did you, you know, see the last film? The, way that, he is, man. the last film that just came out with him. I I, I want to go see it. He plays the dark. Uh, Cesario's. Yeah, uh, C- 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 Sicario or Sicario, C- yeah, C- Sicario or something. C- yeah. Sicario or something like, like that. Like assassin but or something. Like that. Yeah. yeah, but it was good. It was I, good. I, I you saw it. it? Very intense. Oh, yeah. Emily Blunt uh, mm. played the uh, lead female lead yeah. uh, officer, but I mean, yeah. if you you said that you are a very intense guy. You like edgy stuff. Yeah. Oh, then that's your kind of film because that's my kind of film. Right, 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 right. What, what, Richard? What? Did you see it? I got good news. My bottles got shipped today. Man, would you give them back <laughs> for the, the barbecue money? sauce? I'm, uh, I'm so homie. Man, you better give uh, me a bottle of barbecue uh, sauce and keep talking God, about it. Will you? <laughs> I cannot believe what he just did. I'm serious. Yeah, he's giving all of us uh, b- a barbecue I'm sauce. I'm not done with the interview. He looked oh, serious God. when he said that, man. He's, he's about to gang me out of a <laughs> out of a box of barbecue, a case of barbecue sauce. There's twelve to a bottle, twelve bottles. You do to that a again, case. I'm gonna gang you the whole lot. Oh, I just looked at my confirmation. The order was placed. Uh, put, give the bat mic back. We got ten minutes. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but so, uh, all right. Yeah. You living up here in, in L.A.? I, I live in L.A. now. I live by uh, USC. Yeah, that area. Well, South Bay, South Bay. Torrance, oh, actually. Torrance. Okay, there you go. There you go. Torrance, I, By USC. Are you kidding me? Well, oh, it's only 10 minutes away, This guy man. says that he was, <laughs> he, he was grew up with a, ga- a gang-infested area. Are you going to tell me you moved over here to South LA? Yeah, no, no, no. no, 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 no that's South Bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a South lot nicer. Yeah, that's yeah. a big difference. Hey, that's a big difference, That's a big difference. That's why they put the Metro Rail going through the Coliseum. Too many people were getting mugged. Out in South. Oh yeah, that's why. Like, yeah, probably it's so. common sense, right? Oh my I w- god! I wouldn't doubt it. No. So now they're getting mugged on the metro, <laughs> oh, <laughs> not out on god. Figueroa. Yeah, but no, yeah, but yeah. Uh, I was gonna say, you know, uh, a lot of the people that that uh, come in here. Yeah. I'm curious as to how far they have to travel to the studio, right, right. and a lot of them I find are up in uh, North Hollywood. Oh okay. So I thought yeah. maybe you were up uh, that way in North yeah, Hollywood. Yeah, I used to live in the L.A. area, but I moved a little further. I don't like the city, man. I don't like the I traffic. Don't like I don't like all this congestion. It just it just it, just, it bothers me. Mm, I like I the beach, so oh. I got a little place by the beach. Yes, by Hermosa. By, by Hermosa. Yeah, even nicer. I, I just like to, e- to e- get away. Even nicer. Yeah. Um, hey, well, beach. What? Don't. You like to get away too. It's called south of the border, right? <laughs> south of the border, <laughs> Mexican beaches. Yes, very nice. Very. Yeah, so yeah. The only way you can find, uh, you know, all these. Rosarito. <laughs> Rosarito. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. It's oh, yeah. yeah. Get some peace. In fact, I wrote most of my scripts. Not all. South of the board. A, a series of scripts when I was down there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Was that a good mm-hmm. writing technique for you? To oh, go out yeah. There and write? Go out there to write sketch. What I do, I sketch. Yeah. Everything I've seen. Like oh, yeah. The, you know, the outline uh, printed sketch. Sketching blueprint. is pretty much the, the, the outline. Yeah. And then so when you get, you know, when I go back to my place on the beach yeah. with the beach view, boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah. Knock it out. I do the same thing. I do a sketch, do a blueprint, and then I go back and revise. I add something I call la carne, the meat of the scenes. uh You dissect the scenes. If the scene doesn't make sense, there's no objective, don't don't do it. Don't film it. And the other way to do that, people, is you got to read it. Read it, read it, read it. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for you to make this film because yeah. there, there are very few films that I've seen around Hollywood that have been made by Hispanic um, yeah. directors and writers. And very few that are really well done. I, maybe two or three. You know, I went to that <laughs> to that Strike One red carpet event. I, I didn't see that. Yeah. And uh, it was amazing. I met a lot of great actors. Um, the the Anna Watch movie of da- uh, from David Ayer. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if you've seen that. With Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael Peña, there's they played two cops in South L.A. Oh, what was it? And a watch. And oh, and what, yeah, I saw yeah, yeah, watch. Yeah. I, oh, I heck, met yeah. the actors of that movie oh my God, and actually yeah. gave them the script. So, uh, you know, I sent them the script. And Lala Flakis from And a Watch, the main chola, you know, the yeah. really, mm-hmm. she absolutely loved it. I mean, I casted her right away. Her and then Wicked, uh, the other uh, chick that was... Uh, one of the main uh, leads in that in that movie. Uh, well, the, the thing that, the thing that bothered me, the only thing, and of course it's uh, kind of old school. Is the only thing was <coughs> they shot it in uh, I don't know uh, high def whatever video or 
Oh uh, yeah, real, yeah, yeah, real deer, whatever. Kind of like a and documentary I, yeah, style, documentary style, yeah. TV style. And I just, you know, for for that good of a story, I wish they just shot it on film. On film, yeah. On something for, different. For sure. On something. I different. mean, you know, it give it a it give it a, a good little, uh, you know, rawness to it. Yeah. But, uh, they should have shot that in, in film because it was yeah. such a good story, especially with the ending. Yeah, uh, with yeah, the yeah, ending yeah, yeah. And, oh yeah. Uh, but I'm I'm coming around and I'm accepting that this is the way film is done today, and so yeah. some of it I, is really good. Uh, Twelve Years a Slave, that one oh, picture. Oh man, did you see uh, that, Richard? Uh, Steve McQueen's no. film. Oh my god! Uh, man. That, and uh, you the, know, the Brad Pitt put up the money for that. Yeah. You know that yeah. that script yeah. was on the shelf for years. No one wanted to touch it. You know. Yeah. But cool. he put up the money, became a producer, and it got made and won not an Oscar for uh, I think her name is. Uh, you know the African American. Oh yeah, girl. yeah. She well, she's Mexican. She's Mexican born. Oh, I d- she's Mexican. You know, I heard her talk there. Spanish, but yeah. I wasn't sure. Yeah, she's Mexicana. Get uh, out of here, She was man. raised up there. Yeah, she was raised in Mexico. Wow. I mean, because the was, guy was, in Star Wars, the Latino in Star Wars, he's from Guatemala. Oh, okay. And and she is from that. from I guess I thought she was from Africa, but I guess she's no, from, she's from Africa and then the, the, the wow. Africa and, and moved to Mexico and grew up in Mexico. Wow, I didn't know that, man. Yeah, oh. and uh, probably but they probably had the same reservations as they did about the color purple. Yeah, when that came out. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, it was a powerful movie too. But that uh, that I don't believe that was shot in uh, on on thirty five, uh, twelve years a slave. But I said you know for not being on thirty five that. That's pretty good cinematography. It was on digital, yeah. It was digital. Yeah, yeah. It's cinematography. I said that looks really good. Oh yeah. So and yeah. Uh, so I've I've converted to that, and plus I've always wanted filmmaking to be simpler. So here yeah. you are. It's but way <laughs> simple. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's a yeah, lot it's easier way, now. Way way so easier. So we're coming towards the end, Christopher. And All as right, I posted man. on Facebook, folks, I told you that the interview would go quick because once yeah. you get into film, we can go round and round. Yeah, and, it takes and forever. And, yeah. And go out and, and, <laughs> and drinks and still talk about this. So what, what would you like to promote? Anything you have to promote? Uh, I just wanna, uh, um, I just wanna promote this film. You know, I'm just, I'm all about this film. I'm all about this project. Yeah, okay. I live in the moment. You know, the, the moment <clears throat> right now mm-hmm. is Eagles, and uh, this is gonna all be right. a huge film. Uh, once I get it made, hopefully. <laughs> all right. Well, don't yeah. forget your friends here at the studio. Of course, uh, not, absolutely uh, not. It's Richard, FM. yeah, Richard. especially Richard. You know? <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. um, <laughs> the. Uh, 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 yeah. So, uh, as far as uh, yeah. contact you, manager, is there anything you want to uh, uh, people throw can out re- there? How, yeah. to, how to reach you? Uh, yeah. People can reach me at uh, Facebook forward slash Christopher Biza or forward slash Eholes. Uh, you know, uh, those are the main contacts. Uh, you know, Instagram. You know, the same thing. Okay. Um, people can follow me on 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 Twitter also as well at C Biza fourteen. Uh, so yeah, those are my main contacts. You know, mm. I'm not really up with the social media much. You know, I've been so busy, but you know, it's, you know, I get a, I get a lot of people, man. A lot, are, a lot of great. great are, people. are you working from home, or do you, <coughs> you work mostly at the office? Or? Uh yeah, yeah. I'm, I work from the office. You know, I I have uh, we're creating something great that I want to come back and talk to you guys about. It's a it's a digital formatted thing that is going to okay. go across the United States. Yeah, and that's that's going to be huge. Yeah. <laughs> Can't discuss it. I cannot like say all the filmmakers. Gotta make an NDA for sure. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah. Um, uh, the the uh, when when this film comes out, yeah. Um, will it be dubbed in Spanish or do you are these? Oh yeah. Guys gonna be oh yeah. I, w- I, w- I wanna d- well. I wanna do it across the board. Where I'll probably. I mean, you know, I haven't decided that yet. I probably would do uh, uh, subtitles mm-hmm. for the uh, Spanish speaking folks. You know. Yeah. Um, okay. You know, when it, well, internationally, uh, you know, but it's going to be all in English. Because so. you know, you know, down in Mexico, when I was down there writing, I used to go. They have a great the Cine Police. Yeah. That's the majority of the theater chain down there in Mexico. You know, they had a great movie going audience. Yeah. And all the films. This is why I. F- <laughs> this is so full of drama. They, they would love films, it. And they and they were running all American films. Yeah. And the, uh, the, poor, the poor people, I felt bad because a lot of them, they were thrown in subtitles yeah, in Spanish. Yeah. But nonetheless, they sat through there, they got it, they loved it. And oh, you think it would be better the other way? Uh, with, with probably, uh, uh, you know, for me, I feel, feel for the people, you know. Yeah, oh, no, no, I mean, uh, I don't know yet. I haven't, never, I, haven't yeah. thought, I haven't given that much thought, you know. Yeah, they That's would love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you pointing your watch at? Uh, what, oh, you got a new watch? No, I got a minute left. I got a minute left. Yeah, so, yeah a minute left. 
Uh, Richard. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> next week we're going to have a, we're our own special guest. I have not named that person, but they'll be in next week. Christopher Bice, thank you for coming in, and we'll all be looking forward for your project, EHOs. I can't wait till it comes out. Cool. Thank you for coming in. Thanks, you, said, you guys. I get it. You will not be a stranger. You will be back again, and we look forward to it. Absolutely. Thanks, okay. Guys. So for uh, Richard and myself what Hasta we la vista. Here, happy right? new year don't forget it's a new year merry christmas happy new year to you and everybody have don't you know don't drink and drive now <laughs> drive safe tomorrow happy new year okay got my go. barbecue sauce bottles in the mail that's great i'm gonna bust that bottle over your head you keep that up and we will leave you with a very nice tune for baisa for christopher baisa uh, remember he's half mexican mana Oh